Hi guys, this is Ali and welcome to Stuff Behind the Wheel. So how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody great. I hope everybody doing okay. And I myself going to doctor right now. As I told you yesterday, I got a tick bite. And I I called registered nurse and she told me I had to see the doctor in 24 hours. Now I woke up early and I booked an appointment. It's gonna be at 2.30. So I wanted to document before I go to the doctor and see what's going to happen. I guess they're going to do the blood work and examine and see what's, what's what. I am so nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what kind of stuff I have got or what. Hopefully I didn't got anything. But we don't know yet. So I am on my way to see the doctor. And I wanted to, to like let you know before that I go and I will cut my video right now and I will see you after the doctor bye hi guys so I went to the doctor and there was nothing she said um, nothing to worry about I am in low risk and I don't even need to do the test, blood test, because the symptoms, even if uh, there is something, it will be appear in four days. So it has been only like two days. So I don't have to worry until it get rushed or, you know, red circles and stuff. So I'm good right now. I still paranoid, but I, I, I don't scare that much anymore. And uh, yeah, I feel much better now. It's very hot today. Let me turn on the AC. Okay, so what I'm saying, yeah. So there's nothing to worry about. Everything is cool. And she said I am fine. She didn't even give me antibiotics. She said she was gonna, but it's not necessary right now. So I will wait four days. So I, I asked her, even if it's Lyme disease, is it a big deal? She said no. So I guess I get we should look. I Google a lot. As everybody says, do not Google things. You know, they are right. I mean do not Google. When you Google things, it's gonna be make it worse. And I did it. I guess I gonna do it again if it, if, if it happened. I don't know. Human nature, I guess. But there is nothing to worry about. I'm fine. And yeah. Wow, what a journey. This never happened to me. I have no, I, I didn't know what's gonna happen. That's why I was like super paranoid, right? But when we go, when I go to doctor and talk to the doctor, I feel much better now. I, I ain't scared. It's fine. Because look, I love mountain biking. I go mountain bike. Uh, I love those kind of stuff. Uh, I, I don't want to scare any ticks or anything, right? And I don't want to give up on that uh, thing that I like. See, I, I, I got itchy. I, I swear, it, it's on my brain. Nothing happens. But still, uh, it's going to take me for five days, maybe a week, to get over it. Uh, I feel fine. I am fine. Let's, get, let's see what's going to happen. So anyway, what we gonna talk about today? Let's see. Okay, yesterday, to be honest with you, so you remember we were once I talk about the Jack Paul and Ben As Ben As screen fight, right? And now everybody just fighting. You know, people just got bored and started to do need some adrenaline and started to fight for like no reason. So there is like people, TikTokers, YouTubers, they fight each other, right? So yesterday I watched, Lo no, Jack Paul's video. I kind of relate to that. I mean, okay, he is not like an innocent guy. He is like, you know, kind of arrogant. He likes to show off. I see that. And if, if you are rich and famous, you know, sometimes this happens. There is humble people rich and famous, but it, I mean, this guy personality is different everybody is different than each other so like i kind of feel him 
I mean, uh, if he, I don't know, if he, if he feel like you know left from the society, or no one cares about him, everybody hates him. I mean, he's not happy, and I understand. I can relate to that. And I don't know. So let's see what's gonna happen. Just gonna cut the video because there is so many people around me and I will come back to you as soon as I went to the highway. See you. Hi guys again. This is third time we are like <laughs> cutting the video. It's alright though. To be honest with you, I don't really like when I'm driving nearby uh, other cars. Because when you drive them, they're like looking at you like a crazy person. And I don't like that. Because I'm talking to myself, basically. Anyway, so I'm in highway, and what we were, I want to continue about that Ben Affleck and Jack Paul. As I say, I can relate to him. I mean, he has a fame, everybody knows him, and ev every famous per person has that, right? Unless that, like, let's say Marshmallow, because he wears mask all the time, right? This is great, great idea. If you're gonna be a famous, like a DJ or something, just like block your face. And so you can walk freely. Look at like Justin Bieber or whoever famous people like Beyonce, Kanye West, what well, whoever. If they wanna walk outside, they can. Everybody, everybody knows them. And sometimes that's frustrating, right? So being famous is not as good, like easy as it's look, right? Okay, you have everything, you can have everything, but that's never the case. So this guy, okay, his personality is like not that good. I agree with that. But the thing is, yes, everybody hates him. Everybody hates him and everybody talk about him. And that's make him sometimes, you know, sad or depressed. And this is normal. Even us get depressed sometimes, right? So I can relate to that. He want, okay, and here's the thing. Since until yesterday, I always wanted to Ben Askren to win the fight because Jake Paul was really cocky, arrogant. You know what I mean? And but like now, I'm thinking Jake. Jake is young. You know, he's I don't know in twenties, and Ben Askren already got his like top five, top wins. You know, champions and stuff, fighting the Olympics and stuff. He got his moment. I believe now it's a Jack moment and and for like now on I kind of root for Jack Paul and yeah because I can relate you know I mean I can relate everybody hates him he cannot go outside I, I he said that he got sued a couple times I I don't know that I don't know the details so I I cannot comment in that but uh, for uh, the other reasons, yeah, I, I I agree with him, to be honest with you. Now his time to shine. He is young. He wants to do some good. And he and his brother take back the boxing. And that benefits so many athletes. And I like that, actually. In a way, they kind of help the sport. And the people, there is like hundreds of people gonna benefit from that. You know? To be honest with you, I was a fan of Paul Brothers, even uh, uh, Jack or Logan, right? But like now, they kind of change, I don't know. I, I, I like Logan, I like his mentality. Uh, I'm watching his podcast too, not all the way, but I find interesting people in there. Especially that Alien uh, episode, I loved it. <laughs> I even watched the phenomenon, the phenomenon something like that I don't remember anyway if you like if you guys like the uh, alien stuff you must watch that documentary it's called the phenomenon okay uh, it's awesome really and yeah so what else we can talk so today is very 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 hot day I mean I'm literally burning I don't know what's gonna happen I'm mean, burning thank god I just have a t-shirt and yeah, so now I am going to take my block, my packages, and I am kind of
kind of early. I didn't know I was I was thinking I'm gonna do the blood test and stuff, but that didn't happen. And yeah, I, I don't know how this video gonna turn out. It just this video like a little bit of like a vlog, and you know it's ha much better because I wanna learn how to blog vlogging, and this is like a vlog. And as I said, this is like stuff behind the wheels. I'm gonna talk about behind the wheel and what's what, what happening, what is in my life, whatever. It's gonna be a vlog, talking about stuff, whatever. So anyway, I hope everybody is great, having a good time. If you watch that far, please consider subscribing or like or comment, whatever you want. You know, I, I'm not gonna force you or anything. And to be honest with you, I really feel happy when I shot a video. And at the end, if I like what I did, it makes me happy. Like I did a good job, to be honest with you. And if you guys can comment or subscribe, that would make me really happy. It's all up to you. And I guess I gotta cut the video right here. Uh, I don't know how long it has been couldn't cut late. And uh, yeah. So in conclusion, things but are fine. Only you have to find out earlier and take it out the whole thing. That's so important. And if you go outside like a park or like some place that has a ticket, anywhere in the nature, if you have, when you go back home, please check yourself. If there is anything, do not be uh, worried. Just take it off slowly and take, try to take the whole thing. And then do, uh, before you, if you kill it or not kill it, please put it in container and save it or take a pictures because they need it to identify what kind of ticket is it right i didn't know that i flushed down the toilet but next time put it in a container and i will show to the doctor how it's how it's look like right it's so important and this is my advice to you and also i wish best for jack paul even though nobody likes him i got a sympathy of him and I can understand how he feeling and this will be end of my video I I am almost there three minutes away so I will see you guys tomorrow take care of yourself love each other care for each other and forgive each other as always I will see you tomorrow